Hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl Z. And this is Whiskey, Whiskey Waves. Waves. You don't know, we out here bourbon enthusiasts, whiskey enthusiasts, cocktail enthusiasts, all of the enthusiasts. Cocktails, cocktails. Boom. Today we have Barrel Spirits Private Release. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? A pick by the Black Bourbon Society. That's right. Um, the Are they both the owners or is it just Samara? I mean, Samara and her husband? Yes, they are both. So her, Samara and Samara Armand. Armand uh, picked this particular um, pick and it was named My Cherie Amour. It is Kentucky whiskey finished in Oloroso Sherry barrels. Yes. Coming in at 57.72 alcohol by volume. Yes. 57.72 times 2. 115.2 4 <laughs> proof. Proof. Uh, fun fact the name came from a small contest. Uh, Samara asked for members to give possible names and this one won uh and more than one person had this shout out to stevie wonder from my sharia more because that's exactly <laughs> what people were thinking so a million and eight people really said this but i don't know who the first one was i can't remember but yeah that's how it got his name cool good to know yes all so right i've only cracked my ones i haven't really sipped it too much <laughs> I actually have two bottles, but uh, I got one, <laughs> and it's halfway. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, not that I don't like it. I was just I don't know. I was focusing on other bottle kills. That's what Y'all I be trying know to do. You be getting bottles. I do. Mm-hmm. I'm running out of space, child. Ah, <laughs> uh, it smells like sweet grapes me i've been eating a lot of freeze pops lately so it actually reminds me of like a grape freeze pop (laughs) as far as smell it is fruity on the nose not too sure what it is on my on my what what would i call it just on my nose yeah Mm -hmm. on your nose it is fruity not as sweet but Still get grape, a tinge of vanilla, like a honey, a tinge of an herbaceous note, like a honey sweetness, like honey fruity, honey free, yes, <laughs> honey fruity. <laughs> Could it be similar to what's the honey liqueur that you like? Benedictine, is it close to that? I can say that. It does have uh, an herbaceousness to it. Yeah. On the finish for me. And the finish is about medium. At least on the first sip. Second sip could probably give me a definite medium. Yeah, lengthens it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I do get like a peppery finish as well. Kind of almost like a rye. It might have some rye in it. I'm not sure what kind of whiskey itself yeah. is in here. It does not specify. It's like. not specific. But yeah. It's a good pick. I would tell you to pick up a bottle, but you can't. So, you know. One and done. Basically. So... Try something else that's barrel. <laughs> Just saying, yeah. Or look out for another BBS pick. There are a few coming through the uh, the channels. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, I gotta mm-hmm. figure out how I'm gonna get a couple of those, mm-hmm. but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, <laughs> cheers. Cocktails coming up. Yes. Cocktails one, cocktail two, side by side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the 
to switch it up on this episode. Two cocktails. Yes. On this side, I have the honey badger. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. I said sprigs, you know, I just... You put all the sprigs? No. Okay. That's fine. On this side, I've got to model some rosemary sprigs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Make sure I get to expressing those oils yes. out here. So I'm going to start that. You can read off here. Uh, mine so. is Give a Pig. Both cocktails are from Cocktail Distilled. Um, give a Fig, two ounces of whiskey, 0.5 ounce of fig liqueur. Um, I will say that I'm using a flavored vodka because some reason fig liqueur is hard to find cocktail distilled. <laughs> Just saying. But anyways, and I'm also adding 0.5 ounce of the honey syrup and 0.5 ounce of lemon juice all into a shake. I'm gonna start okay. measuring out. Smell that rosemary, it smells like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Woo! All right. So over here, I'm gonna start with the syrups. I have 0.25 ounces of ginger syrup and honey syrup. So I'm gonna start there. So I'm gonna double that up. I'm working on my slice over four. Yeah, I, I, I was not successful. <laughs> it's, it takes practice. It takes yes. practice. Ooh, yeah. I'm really getting a, a giant whiff of this rosemary over mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, over here got too. <laughs> not sure how that's making me feel as far as ingredients go. I think the uh, hopefully the other ingredients come also out. So balance it out. All right, the recipe calls for half an ounce of yellow chartreuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that up before I hit the lemon juice. Okay, honey, and last but not least, <laughs> last least but not last. Is that what it is? Last, last but, but not, not least. least. Okay. Be working on it. <laughs> All right. The pig. 0.75 ounces of lemon juice. And one half ounces of the whiskey. Do you know what I forgot to give you? No. The strainer? Lemon bitters. Oh, that's what they say? Oh, okay. Yes. That is what that is. Alright. Sure. Alright, it's starting to be a little less rosemary to my nose. Not sure if that means there's going to be less rosemary in the cocktail, but at least I'm not smelling a pine tree out here in these streets. Alright. Oh, two man. dashes of lemon bitters. And I'm going to add some ice to my shaker. Try not to make a mess. Oh, okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Honey, and what am? The 
you got cocktails. Oh, let me take this off. <laughs> so they don't pop off on me, child. Y'all have seen previous episodes. <laughs> I don't need them problems today. Mm-mm-mm. All right. So these there are two go. golden cocktails. Yeah. Similar in color. Yep. All right. Which one are we trying first? We're going to try Give a Fig. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I was trying to see if I smelled any figginess or anything. Not really. It's something. It's something. Yeah. It might be the vodka. Something's not hitting the way I need it to hit. Yeah. As the young people say, it's not giving what needs to be gave. All right, next one. <laughs> Do you yeah, like it? next one. <laughs> All right, honey badger. Hey. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm. I still get a good amount of that rosemary, but it's not like I'm sucking on a Christmas tree branch or nothing. So, I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get the lemon, you get all of the herbs from the yellow chartreuse. Although it goes a long way with chartreuse, man. Man. Um, it is rosemary. Very rosemary. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't really taste either of the syrups. They just give you the sweetness. I don't taste the flavor profiles of them. I just took a bite of one of the rosemary uh, oh. sprigs in my cake. Sounds like a bad idea. Double strain, y'all. Double strain. <laughs> <laughs> or just don't chew the rosemary. Mm, mm, mm. If it's not bad, I would have just swallowed it. But mm -hmm. uh, it was bad, just. Anyhow, out of the two, I like the honey badger the best. Yeah, I think this one, definitely, if you could get your hands on a fake liqueur, or is that your liqueur, would make it even better. It just tastes like a cocktail. Yeah. yeah. It's not, I don't know, giving yeah. us the juice. No. So, uh, let us know if y'all try at least the honey badger. Or any recommendations. Right. Or if you know of a good fig liqueur, leave it in the comments. You can find it. To help us. Maybe we'll try to remake this. Yeah. Anyhow, we will catch y'all on the next round. Cheers. Cheers.